Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. It's been a while since I posted anything. And the reason is, during the last workshop, breaking free from karmic patterns and stepping into the soul purpose, we've experienced something extraordinary. Many have felt profound experience of being lifted up and moving into this free understanding of being. The meditations were live and they're usually, if you want to call it channeled, you know how I'm sensitive with these words that are overused on the social media platforms. But anyway, I'll just use these words so you know. The guides never let me know what exactly is going to happen during these meditations. They only give me the topics. So when I prepare, I always tell you the breakdown, but even I don't know what's going to come through. And uh, during the second group, one of the meditations, if you've ever worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, you know that it is common to expect the unexpected. I was about to wrap up on one of the portions of the meditation and then one of the archangels came through. And I thought it was just the general energy healing that we usually do for souls. But it was something else that required my full attention and I appreciate that the group was patient. Because the higher energy comes through, the more tuned in I need to be in order to bring in the clearer message so that I can assist the participants, I have to be integrated into the energy that is coming through, as well as allowing that energy to commune with me. So it is live, multidimensional experience, and my God, it was something else. <laughs> it caused me to go into... Uh, I can't explain what it is because words will not do it justice. But the message that came through was to break free from illusion. But that day I needed to take a break and I thought that that would be it. But after we finished the second group, it turned out I needed to take a longer break. And I did. I was glad I did. I saw even more illusion than I thought it was. I've often told you how to perceive this reality and if you're new here you can go into the playlist Step Up the Lightworker to hear what I'm trying to explain to you. I will always use simple words. The concepts are going to be very deep. This is why your full attention is needed, preferably with headphones and Maybe lie down or sit with your eyes closed so that you could hear what I'm sharing with you. I will always do it in a gentle way because you always have free will. Uh, because this is how I'm taught by the Ascended Masters and Archangels and these high beings. So this is how I treat you. The message was to break free from the illusion of anything that is holding you, of anything that is attaching you to this world. The urgency was to grasp how much each and every one of us is so loved. The urgency was the realization that we're watched over and adored and they're inviting us to break free from thinking that the number is the worth or the how much is the worth or to feel sad or happy depending on how much we have. We already know all that. It was at a different level of understanding and I was shown through time and space from millennia ago when people would exchange belongings for other things which in modern terms would be paying turned into slavery 
And the concept they introduced is, what if it's something that we need to disattach ourselves from? Because looking at everything, we're not just wearing clothes, for example. We're not just living in places. We're constantly paying for them. We're working to pay for them <laughs> so that we can have them thinking that that's how it's supposed to be. They explained that in order to move into the next reality, that would be the fifth dimensional state of living, with your body, you must disattach from the supposed to be, from the needs to be. What they said is, in this reality, you will continue paying for things, but your attachment to it must be dissolved. So basically, live your life like you did, but release the pain, release the struggle. What came through energetically and what I didn't expect is that when we gathered, it was actually for the whole of humanity. The reason being is because there is a possibility of the uh, certain institutions experiencing disassembling, I'll put it in a gentle way, do not freak anybody out, there's a possibility of restructure of certain systems. And in order to survive mentally and psychologically, psychiatrically, <laughs> um, because many are so invested into this reality financially, the urgency is with love to disattach. That no matter what happens, to feel free that you will be taken care of regardless of what it would look on the outside or what others are projecting. Because the majority of people, when they hear of any form of reconstruction of any institution, it is taken with fear and survival mode, uh, stepping over another uh, just to get something for self. We remember during the quarantine time, a few years ago, how many people uh, would take from others selfishly, take advantage of others because people were desperate. During the group meeting, what happened was there was a massive amount of energy that came through the participants. So it came from the archangels into the participants and from the participants flashed out into humanity because our group is always from various parts of the world even if a lot of them live in the US your background is still from other cultures which works energetically very very well and that's what happened there were massive amounts of enlightening energy shut out into the people's hearts into the people's minds to break free from this attachment of need and that is holding you. Releasing from the attachment of can't do something because it requires something, because it is only for this reality. Your soul doesn't need that and it's not looking forward to it. What it's looking forward to is freedom. What it's looking forward to is flying into various realities. you seeing a bird flying in the sky or up there or above the tree. Imagine flying in different realities. Nothing pulling you down. That was the urgency for you to realize how much you are loved that it almost like hurts them to see us struggle or struggle with the idea. It is the idea that was engraved into us that we're struggling with. So many people say, well, yeah, th look how this is so expensive and something, something, but it is for many. Um, not everybody is capable to pay certain amounts for certain things. But the reality is also, you may not even need it. 
Just because others do, it doesn't mean that you have to. And the competition needs to be also disattached from. A competition in anything, whether it is also finances, or whether it is um, in spiritual community, people are jealous over other people if they can tune in, or they see things in meditation, all of that needs to be let go. You need to completely free yourself from all of that lack, from anything that makes you feel like you are struggling. People put pressures on themselves just to tell themselves that they're good people, that they help out people, or that they are going through this labyrinth because they're so busy. But energetically, they're empty. There's nothing there. So physically being busy doesn't mean that you're actually moving forward. That was a very powerful message that they said. It is almost like that expression, less is more. It is not about running around physically doing things and signing up for yoga and uh, going on these trips to connect with other people somewhere in the jungle and doing things. It has nothing to do with the truth of who you truly are. And the coolest thing is that who you truly are, you already know that. It, they also said we're pretending. We're pretending to make ourselves struggle just so that we could, you know that expression, wake up. What, you don't know you're a child of God? You don't, you don't know you are an emanation of God? You don't know that? So when they uh, came through with all of that, the magnificence of it, how much the whole world, even the most beings who are into this competition, the what you call political leaders and financial leaders and all of these people, they are all invited into this unity. This is the oneness. So they are kinjals. They don't segregate to say, all right, well, this is a believer. We're going to accept that. And this is not a believer because they're into this system. So no, no, no. It is everyone invited, which means releasing the judgment. But the most important is releasing the judgment of self. How many of you feel that you are less than another? This is also an illusion. It does not exist. It is impossible. Your vibratory rate may not be as fast as of another, but we're all equal children of our Creator. This is something that we need to fathom. This is something that we need to get in our brains. We are all equal. Only this system is making us feel someone has more, someone has less, therefore someone is bigger, better, therefore others are smaller, lesser. The need right now is to bring ourselves into the unity. First is within. As multidimensional beings, originally, we were one internal Christed being, masculine, feminine. But due to regressive patterns into the DNA degradational wavelength, if you want to call it, we got scattered. And in order to remember, we had to dissect to remember. So instead of the unified being, we're now incarnating as males and females. And every time we are encouraged to remember. And of course, this reality is going to make sure that there is struggle, which is all right, because coming in, you know, this is a realm of duality. That's what it's going to do. It is only either or or. <laughs> it is either or. That's the reality of duality. Hot or cold, up or down. This is what we're encouraged to figure out. What is it that you want? If you decide to be hot in the sense of remembering that you're a child of God and striving to develop this relationship with your creator, what you do is have a normal life, communion with the children of the Most High. You can start from self first. <laughs> your I am is going to lead you to it. The energy inside is going to bring you to your creator. 
the most important relationship you can ever have. From that, you will be introduced to your guidance system. And from that, you will be introduced to other beings who are incarnated in this physical form to be your soul family. It is what people usually call tribe. The true communion would be heart-based, not clicking and not finger-typing. It is telepathic, it is vibrational through the heart. The way to do it is through prayer, through meditation. The physical communion, when it is online or when it is in these groups, will always need to be heart-based, not need-based, not aloneness or nobody understands me or I'm here lost in that kind of way. So please give me a fix. Tell me I'm moving into 5D to make me feel good. It will always remain in this illusion. The time will go. Another time will come. And that time will go. And this is how timelines come and go. I'm speaking like this so you can understand the illusion. When I took a break from all of that, and I frequently encourage you to do that, but I usually do a week at a time, two weeks at a time, never did about a month at a time because so many of you are reaching out and some into it, right? I answer you as fast as I can, whether it is in the email or in one-on-one -on -one work or in group or in the comment section. What I did is I allowed myself to take a break and to not answer right away. Some of you, you are understanding and you are very compassionate. You understand that it is okay to go in, to realize what you're made of. And of course, any time you take a break from anything that you do usually on a daily basis that makes you think that this is how life's supposed to be, uh, if you're not used to it and this is your first time, basically it shatters your belief systems so release yourself from the needing to be following someone to tell you the flash is coming or the shift is coming or you moving into 5D. Just let go and be free. The trees around you that are moving, you know, in the wind and the leaves and everything, look at how free they are. They are not struggling. The butterflies around, the birds around, Everybody is free, yet the most intelligent being on this planet, the human, is enslaved. Enslaved into their own thinking of how life is supposed to be, which is the opposite of how they were produced to live. When your soul emanated, it emanated directly from God. God is free. God is loving, abundant, and prosperous, and there's so much out there. The brainwashing of the verbiage that every time you hear the word abundance and prosperity, you're naturally starting, and this is so sad because naturally, and it's very unnatural to use the word abundance to connect to money. Abundance equals Freedom, freedom of choice, colors, various vibrations of joy, laughter, peace, willpower, strength, courage, unconditional love, kindness, name them. Somehow humanity allowed to be enslaved into a word equaling something else. Break yourself free from that illusion. I was very grateful to the group because they were very patient and they allowed themselves to understand it. It is very rare, I want to be honest with you, because people do get impatient. People want things to go according to status quo created by other people, so it creates a pattern and they think that's how it's supposed to be. And I will always tell you, no it's not. It's not how it's supposed to be. You know what's how it's supposed to be? Is you remembering your creator. That is the only thing that is supposed to be. 
and everything else is going to be based on that. And if it's not, then that is not how it's supposed to be. So if you see certain style that is different, that's not because it's wrong. Because the person chose their free path. Release the judgment. If you see somebody is following the status quo because other people are doing it, so they're just copying and there's so much out there. Everybody's just copying each other. In truth, they don't know what they're saying. The only way for you to know, to actually see, is to take a break. Take a break a month. Don't watch anything. Don't listen to anything. Spend time with your family. Spend time in nature. Do natural things, you know, arts and crafts. Uh, creating something with your hands, go cooking, go gardening, do natural things, have a normal chat with your family, reach out to your old friends, how are they doing, just to say hello, you know, you don't need anything, just say hi, send prayers to people, bless people, bless yourself, bless the planet that is hosting multiple of your lifetimes, and then when you come back into this delusion, you will see that all those talking holograms are just like copy-paste, copy-paste each other. So once this timeline passes, they will remain in it. They will be regurgitating the same thing, moving to 5D or the flash is coming. And the flash is going to come and it's going to go. And those who are free, they're going to move. And the rest are going to keep talking about it. Because that's their reality. The true reality is freedom. And it is not subjugated to what people say on social media. It has never been. It has never been subjugated into what the majority of what people perceive as somebody who is higher up thinking or saying. Never been. In fact, they are not known in the higher dimensions. Because they are holograms. They allowed themselves to be lost. And what hurts is that the ancient beings, like some of you, allow yourselves to be subjugated into this illusion. The game of ripping souls apart. I've been even thinking to redo everything that I've been doing. And I don't know if you're going to be open to it. Instead of working one-on-one, -on -one, I thought, why don't we do group family uh, connecting together, bring in your family members, and maybe that's how we can move into the unity, because it takes forever to work with one person, because I will never push you to do something you're not comfortable with. What comes through is very strong. Not everybody can handle it, and I understand. Whenever struggle comes up, I learned the pattern and I always have a choice. Either go downhill and get depressed and uh, victimized, which I have done. But I realized it's not going anywhere. And then I have a choice to deal with it and figure out a way out. And I've done that. I've also been an observer and just saw how the problem can come and go itself. I never shared anything private with you. Why? Because it's private. You don't need to know. And I can't prove it to you, nor do I need to. The only proof I can have is the purity of the information that is coming through, is that I never ask anything of you. I've never asked you to subscribe, to follow, to whatever, because I don't need it. It's for you. I share this with you, because I want to share it with you. And if you want it, it's there. If you don't want it, you don't have to. What I'm sharing is already inside you anyway. This feels so good to release this attachment. I, I can't explain it to you. You are being freed, literally. All you have to do is let go. When you have these personal obligations, this like uh, taking care of your family members, if you're a parent, if you're a grandparent, of course, this is natural. 
this is you doing with unconditional love and it's growing you invest into this time don't think that some other video on tiktok or youtube is gonna be um, enlightening you so you abandon your own child for 10 minutes just to hear some video on a 5d it will never happen because your family is the one that is going to be assisting you teaching you to move into that higher state of consciousness whether they are supporting you and you move together or they created a path which is like a contrast where you would need to constantly be rethinking who you are this is those family members who are not supporting your spiritual path so you keep the balance this is also okay what is not okay is people abandoning thinking that some spiritual community online with people they don't know they don't know if it's a bot they don't know if it's a person who is not interested but they're just bored you know, anybody could say 5D, anybody could say New Earth, anybody could say the word universe. Now, of course, if a person is abusive, narcissistic, it is understandable to keep a distance, to uh, create a boundary. This is understandable. I'm saying there are a lot of people in the spiritual community who are avoiding their own family members, even their own children, just because some TikTok video is being posted. Please don't do that. You will never move into 5D by doing this. If you have a family you created, they're the most important because they contracted to be at this time here with you. There are no famous names who could take you to 5D. Only you can take a step at a time to move into this 5D through your relationship with your creator. Isn't your creator taking you there anyway? Hasn't your creator created this 5D? There are such things as jumping timelines. Many of you are very advanced souls and it's painful to see you don't believe it. You think, for example, if you don't have followers and you have situations in your private life, somehow you're less than, no you're not. You might be one of the pillars that is holding the heaven and earth. You might be one of those who is keeping the system in order as much as it's possible. Otherwise, it would be chaos. Some of you think that if you found some spiritual community a year or two or five ago, somehow you're less than those who've been in this spiritual community for 30 years. What kind of silliness is that? What about the age of your soul? What about your soul progress? What about your path and everything you've accomplished? What about your understanding of this reality? You don't think that that matters? You know what's true? You. What's true is your relationship with God. So if you forgot, that is the truth. If you can't remember, that's the truth. And if you remember, bathe in it. Produce anything and keep going in your life path from that. Let that be the gateway, the starting point. And every time you meditate, go and hug your creator. Your family members are the ones who contracted to come in to be with you. Your spouses. Your pets. Anything and everything that is touching you. And also triggering you very, very much. Look at that contrast. And look at it from a different angle. Open your eyes so that you can break free from what you think how things are supposed to be. I wish for everyone to be free. I know this will not happen at the same time. Because every soul requires experiences. Some are ready. Many are not. We can't expect everyone to graduate at the same time. It would be delightful to have as many as possible. And when we see a lot of you struggle, and when we see that you're not ready, we hold off, and we wait, and we assist. But there will come a time when the 
planet is ready. And if the planet is ready before you, then it will have to happen and you will need to wait until next time, not in this lifetime. This is the holding time. You're being waited on until the planet is ready itself. Because once the planet is ready, it will be accompanied with its physical reconstruction of its surface, which will affect your physical bodies. And since the soul is in the body, if the body is struggling, whether through disease or the need to relocate, but there's nowhere to go because so much is happening all around, the soul will have a hard time to progress during this time and it will need to come back again to do it later.